Hey guys, welcome to your second dungeon. The Famished Sunflower's Barn. If you got here, you may have prepared for this dungeon, or you just went for it. Or you didn't do anything, and you went straight from Incarnum to this dungeon. One way or another, I am going to give you a small tip before starting this dungeon. Before you even try to attempt this dungeon, make sure to talk to Metamunchkin. He is inside the farmer's workshop, and he will provide you for quest to basically fight a lot of dungeons. The quest provides a great amount of experience and a free key to the dungeon. Once you start this quest, it will keep giving you more objectives as you continue. This could also be a guidance of what you could start your adventure with as well. Before starting this dungeon, you should try to get an adventure set, or even better, a gobble set. These are the most common sets used at low level and works really well until level 30 or 40. And the gobble set provides 1 AP. And it just drops from gobbles. I highly suggest to try some quests around as well. This should give you some good source of experience in case you are aiming for that new skill. To enter the dungeon you will need a key. As mentioned, our Metabunch buddy provides one just for free. In here we have the same 4 rooms as every other dungeon. Nothing special around here, except the Country Guardian. He drops grass. Very exciting. Once you get to the last room, you'll see the boss, which is the sunflower, who may seem familiar. Just think about Mario for a second. Just like the first dungeon we did, this boss also has the achievement to kill the boss first. So that's what we do. Try to be close to the boss as it will move rather slowly, or just range kill it. It has like 2 MP and 6 AP, and he has 3 skills. First one being the Call of the Fields, summoning a summon for every 3 turns, up to 3 summons max. Second one is Piggery, a water steal damage skill and plus 10 damage for the boss only in close combat. And finally, Levy Care, heals his allies in about 2 cells, no cooldown. It's best to hit him with a chance or agility element as he is weak against that. Once he's done, I advise you to go for the Country Guardian or anything else that's nearby and annoying. And before you know it, you saved those poor farmers who couldn't do their work because of the famished sunflower and he kept making a rocket with his wild grass and weeds everywhere. The next dungeon we will visit is nearby on the beach. We may find our friend who lives in a pineapple under the sea. That was the video for this time guys, as always. Feedback is appreciated and so are the likes and subscribes. Have a great day.